using the DISM command prompt tool to repair windows. Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com. We've talked a lot about what I'll call the two extremes of repairing Windows. There's SFC, the System File Checker, which basically does what its name implies. It runs through and makes sure that um, a number of files within Windows are what they should be and haven't been corrupted by malware or replaced or whatever. At the other end of the spectrum, of course, are refresh and even reinstalls of Windows, which basically replace the entire operating system with a fresh copy. In the middle, from my conceptual perspective, is this thing called DISM. It's the Deployment Image Servicing and Management Tool, which is a whole lot of words for actually a tool that you and I would rarely use, only in this repair scenario, but that in fact is used very heavily. As its name implies, it is a tool that can create images of Windows. In fact, if you've ever downloaded Windows from Microsoft directly, that ISO or whatever you got was probably created by a run of DISM. However, DISM is useful for much more than just creating and managing images. It's actually a very useful tool for managing a running copy of Windows, including fixing a certain class of errors that you may encounter. Let's have a look at how that works. So we're here over in Windows 11. I am right clicking on the start button and clicking on terminal admin. You may see command prompt, you may see PowerShell, you may see terminal, that's fine. All three of them will work. What's important is that you do the administrative prompt or the administrative version of those tools. In my case, terminal comes up right away with command prompt. So the first tool we're going to use is DISM slash online slash cleanup dash image slash check health. Again, that's a whole lot of words. What it really means is slash online is the option that says we're working on the currently running version of Windows. Slash cleanup image is kind of the class of operations we're going to be performing here. It's all about cleaning things up. And then check health is essentially a quick check of certain flags that may have been set by other operations to determine that something might need fixing. This one's actually pretty quick. And of course, in my situation, I don't have anything wrong with the system, which is fine. These are actually the results you typically want, but there's nothing wrong here, nothing to see. The next level of running the same tool again is DISM, online cleanup image, this time scan health. Now I'm going to go ahead and fire that off because this one can actually take a little bit of time. This is doing a much more in-depth search and scan of a number of files in your Windows installation. One of the things that it is scanning is what's called the component store. New name for a folder you may already be familiar with, the WinSXX or Windows side-by-side -side folder in the Windows folder. That's essentially what's being scanned here for the most part as I understand it, and it's looking for anything wrong with those files and folders. We'll let it complete here. Should be pretty quick. And we're done. Again, no component store corruption detected, which again is a fine result. It means that nothing's broken. However, sometimes this will report that there are issues that need to be repaired. This command reminds me a lot of check disk in the sense that it's only checking for problems. It's not actually repairing problems. The equivalent to running check disk slash F to repair problems on a hard disk is this next command. DISM, online cleanup image, this time with the restore health parameter. Go ahead and start that because it too will once again scan the component store and repair anything that it finds is wrong. But it's essentially the same scan as before. What that means to me is that while the scan health option is interesting, 
I would probably skip right to the restore health option uh, simply because if it's going to take a little bit of time, how about it only take a little bit of time once? So we'll let this complete. And we're done. Again, no problems were found, so there was nothing to fix. I want to be clear, that's okay. It's actually okay to run these tools at any time if you suspect a problem or not, because if they don't find a problem, they're not going to do anything. And if they do find a problem, you're going to want to fix that problem. So this is DISM, another tool in your toolbox. When I encounter problems that I suspect are system problems, the steps that I would follow are these. I would start with the system file checker, SFC. Um, it's going to scan a certain set of files to make sure they are what they are. I would then run the DISM commands that we've just discussed. If that doesn't resolve the issue, then again, assuming that I believe it to be a system problem, that's when I'll start investigating the possibility of running a refresh install or even a complete reinstall of Windows. At that point, though, it kind of has to be worth it because those are both fairly large operations. I hope this is helpful. I hope that sometime in the future, it turns out to be something that helps you resolve a problem in Windows. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com slash 170432. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.